Hi, welcome back to session 6. We are going to learn two very interesting things today. One is how do you reduce the size of the character and the second one would be speed. So when you look at this activity, there are two things in this. One is the size of the characters are small so that it fits in the screen. Second is when I play the activity, you see each of the character moves accordingly at a different speed, right? Because by default, when you use the motion, it, it gives you the same speed for all. So we will learn how do you do these two things, speed as well as reducing the size. So we'll start a new project. We'll delete the cat character by just press it for some time and click on the cross. We'll select a nice background. Now after selecting the background, we will insert the three characters. So the horse, uh, then the giraffe and uh, the elephant. Now the first thing which I spoke to you was that how do you reduce the size of these characters, right? They're too big. They can't fit on the screen right now. So let's learn how to do that. So right now when you are on the elephant uh, character, click on the looks block. You will see an option as shrink here. So out here you don't need to press uh, the green flag yet. What you do is just click on shrink and drag it down and press it three four times. I think three times is enough. Okay, that's become too small so and you could just delete all these by dragging them outside the screen similarly go on horse click on shrink and reduce the size and just throw it off the screen and then you would go on giraffe click on shrink again and reduce the size and you could just throw off this off cord. Now the first task is we will go on horse and we will provide that movement of action. So what we'll do is of movement of speed. So we click on the green flag here. We move, click on move forward like you could give like 12 and after this what you do is you provide the speed option here now when you go on the orange block you have the speed option so in fact take this and insert it before the arrow tool and if you click on it it if you click on the small arrow here so it gives you three speeds. One is normal, one is medium, one is fast. So because we know horse runs fast, so we will select the last option here. And we will reset and test it. So that works fast. And now we will end the code. Next step is we will go on giraffe. We will follow the same procedure. We will insert the green flag. We'll go on the orange block. We'll click on set speed. Now, as I explained to you, speed has three options. And when I click on the small triangle, inverted triangle here, this time I will select the medium speed, this the middle one. And I'll click on the arrow key. And again, I'll insert 12 as speed. And we will click on the end block so on the top right if I click on reset and play you'll see that the horse runs faster the giraffe runs little slower and the final step is we click on elephant this time we drag and drop the green flag here we go on the orange block we set speed to the normal speed right the slow speed 
we click on the right arrow select 12 steps and we end the code now when you click on the reset this time you'll see all three of them all the three uh, codes all the three programs run simultaneously and you see the horse the giraffe and then the elephant finishes the race so that was the in the orange block that was the option as set speed which gives you a fairly good idea as to how different modes of speed could be given and also you learnt about shrink and grow so basically grow shrink reset size I covered it up in earlier sessions but out here you could really understand as to in which situation you would be using it right so Thank you everyone for watching but uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon uh, below the video so that you are notified of the new videos whenever I add them. Thank you for watching.